Of course, that, that had to fall. Hello, everybody. This is something that hasn't happened, I don't think, in quite a while. A live Facebook. Facebook? Yeah, Facebook Live. I forgot what it's called. Um, thank you all for joining me. If you have joined me. If you haven't, then I'm not talking to you anyway. Um, today is Martin Luther King Day. And normally, for the past several years, I've been honored to be a part of the Martin Luther King Day celebration in my old neighborhood down in the Cincinnati, in Cincinnati, uh, the College Hill neighborhood. And uh, <clears throat> actually, even the last couple of years, even though I moved out of College Hill, uh, my wife and I moved uh, to Central Ohio, where I live when I'm not on the road, or down in Nashville. And this year, because of COVID, there is no Martin Luther King Day celebration, which, which, uh, I'm glad of because it means that we're all not congregating and possibly uh, getting each other sick. But I'm down. I'm down about it because I don't get to see all my friends that I that I got to see and spend uh, this this um, celebration with every year. So I thought I'd uh, throw a couple, a few songs in for you live here on Martin Luther King Day. Uh, many of which I have uh, shared over the last several years at Martin Luther King Day celebrations. And I'm going to start out with a song that was uh, written by a, uh, one of my favorite Nashville singer-songwriters, a gentleman by the name of Don Henry. And it's a song, it's a song called Beautiful Fool, and it goes just like this. Martin Luther, who did you think that you were? Appointed by some higher up. Merely mortal, your plans were unaffordable. No one wants to pay for love. Oh, you beautiful fool. Swimming upstream, kicking up waves Dreams weren't meant to come true That's why they call them dreams Oh, you beautiful fool Walter Cronkite preempted Disney one night all us kids were so upset We thought that you were a troubled instigator Marching through our TV set Oh, you beautiful fool Swimming upstream, kicking up waves Dream weren't meant to come true that's why they call them dreams oh you beautiful fool to fight a fight without a fist all human instinct puzzles this how dare you threaten our existence Mahatma Gandhi, Jesus Christ, history repeats itself so nice, consistently we are resistant to love. Black and white with blacks and whites applauding you. I saw you on another time with without a sign of life in you. Oh, you beautiful. 
Chicago fool Swimming upstream, kicking up waves Dreams weren't meant to come true That's why they call them dreams Oh, you beautiful fool Oh, you Beautiful fool. Again, check out Don Henry. He, he's a great songwriter, and uh, I learned that song from a, an album that he released back in the late '80s, early '90s. The the album was called "Wild in the Backyard." Um, Mark O'Connor and a, a bunch of other really great musicians played on that song, and uh, it's been one of my favorites for many, many years. So another Martin Luther King Day uh, theme song for you. This is a song I wrote uh, last year. Um, we lost a, uh, a civil rights icon uh, when John Lewis, John Robert Lewis, passed away. And um, big shoes to fill for whoever comes along. Uh, Stacey Abrams is probably right up there, I think. And um, the morning that I heard that he had passed away, this entire song came to me uh, just out of the ether. So I knew I, it, I needed to, to write it and I wrote it. It is available on YouTube um, as a free download if, if you are so inclined to uh, download uh, songs that you like by people who you've never heard of before. So, so this is uh, again for Martin Luther King Day in honor of uh, John Robert Lewis. Godspeed and may God bless you, John Robert Lewis. God has called you home to claim his heavenly prize. We'll miss you, dear friend, John Robert Lewis. You're with Bobby, John, and Martin on the other side. Oh, John Lewis, you crossed the bridge on that fateful day. Men with guns, batons, and dogs tried to take your life away. But God had other plans. For a great young man, you heard the call to serve one and all, and you answered. Godspeed and may God bless you, John Robert Lewis. God has called you home to claim your heavenly prize. Your life can be our guide to the challenge we must rise as we stand side by side for what is just and what is right. Speed and may God bless you, John Robert Lewis. John Robert Lewis. This might end up being kind of a uh, guinea pig session in addition to uh, being something for Martin Luther King Day. And the reason I'm saying that is this is a song. Excuse me a minute here why I throw something down on the floor. Uh, this is a song I wrote back, I think I wrote it back, wow, about 2009, 2010. And it's about, uh, it's kind of about, 
I think we were looking at the bicentennial of the neighborhood that my wife Wendy and I were living in back then called, and, and the little town, if you will, uh, the neighborhood of College Hill in Cincinnati. And um, the neat thing about College Hill is from its inception back in the 1800s, it was a mixed neighborhood. It was uh, whites and blacks all living together in, um, in harmony. And this is, a, this is a story that ended up in a Boston newspaper and uh, it made national headlines because a young man who was known only as Black Joe, <clears throat> he was like in his late, he was about 18, 20 years old, and he had, um, he had a shop in College Hill and he lived up above his shop. And this was about the time when there were bounties on uh, former slaves. And even if you were a freeman, it didn't matter because if you were black, you were fair game for um, hunters who would come up from the South. And um, so this is a true story about what happened to Black Joe. He had closed his shop and went to bed up, up in his upstairs room. And sometime during the night, a wagon full of uh, a vigilantes from down in Kentucky had come up to college, to College Hill, and they broke in to, to Joe's shop. They grabbed him from his bed, they bound him up and threw him in the back of the wagon, and they were heading down to Kentucky to sell him into slavery and um, get their reward for returning a slave um, to the South. And his neighbors heard the commotion and everything that was going on, neighbors both black and white, and they all banded together and they chased these guys in the wagon down and they, they caught up with them right at the Ohio River and uh, managed to rescue Joe. And when I heard that story, uh, which was written by Frederick, Frederick Douglass, he, he, he had heard the story and he wrote the uh, article that ended up in a Boston newspaper. So when I heard that story and somebody from the College Hill Historical Society uh, gave me a clipping of that newspaper article and I wrote this song called Black Joe and I haven't done it for, I think I did it once last year for a, a live, uh, one, of, one of the Facebook lives, but other than that I haven't done it in a long time, so um, I'm going to do it for you now. It's called Black Joe. Small Ohio village, 1855, Black Joe laying in his room in the dead of night. He was a free man, just working with his hands, earning a living as any hard-working soul might. The sound of crashing glass splitting wood in his little downstairs store young Joe bound and gagged and dragged from his neighborhood wagon bound for the slavery side of the Ohio River shore why such agony why such woe why can't they let him be Black Joe Eighteen and free Quiet, sensitive man Never hurt a soul Never did nobody harm Would someone rise up Someone give a damn Save our friend and neighbor From this wrong Why such agony? Why such woe? Why can't they let him be? Black Joe Friends and neighbors chased that wagon to the river The Ohio side They rescued young Joe From that terrible ride 
They banded together as neighbors, not black or white. Saved Joe from those horrible men with the hate they could not hide. Why such agony? Why such woe? Why can't they let him be? Black Joe. Neighbors didn't see color when they looked in Joe's face. They only saw a brother in our human race. This lesson I've learned from this little village called College Hill. We can make our world a better place if we only will. Why such agony? Why such woe? Why can't they let him be Black Joe? There'll be no more agony, no more woe when we look in each other's eyes and see Black Joe. Small Ohio Village, 1855. Black Joe laying in his room in the dead of night. Black Joe. Hope you like that. I think you all know if you've been following me at all, thank you. Thank you for following me if you've been following me. And, um, Sue, my um, my uh, rep, has keeps reminding me that I'm supposed to tell everybody that you can find most of uh, my catalog on um, Spotify, as well as a bunch of other uh, online things. I don't know how that works. I have to ask my seven-year-old grandson how the computer stuff works. <laughs> but um, the new album will hopefully be done by um, by the end of February. It's looking like it's looking like it's moving along very nicely and hopefully we'll get there. Um, but for sure, uh, by the 20th, I'm sorry, by the 15th of February, there's going to be a single released. It's going to be one of the songs that's going to be on the new album. And uh, people often ask me if, if I remember uh, the songs I've written, if I remember where they came from or when I wrote them or anything else. I've been writing songs for for almost 45, for 45 years. And um, I can usually tell you what has inspired a song, but I don't think there there's only one song in the over 300 songs that I've written where I can tell you exactly the day that I wrote the song and when I wrote the song. And it's a song that's going to be released uh, from the new album. It's a song that's going to be released as a single on the 15th of February. And it's a song that I wrote two days after my, my brother Steve died. And it's a song called Stephen's Song. And um, we're, we're currently uh, mixing that down. Uh, and there's going to be some really exciting news the first part of February about that that Susan's going to put out in the e-news. So if you go to DaveHawkins.com and sign up for the e-newsletter, um, there, there's some really fantastic musicians playing on this album. I am so thrilled. Not only uh, The Perfect Men, my band The Perfect Men, um, playing on it, but also some, some other friends of mine who are musicians who agreed to add some stuff to the album. So the reason I'm talking about the, the album, not only because of the single that will be released on February 15th, but also because this song is going to be on that album. And it's a song that I wrote for a Martin Luther King Day celebration back around, oh gosh, I think it was 2015, 2016. And it's called Ain't No Color. So again, this is a Martin Luther King Day celebration um, uh, mini concert. First time I've been live in a while, I believe. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll get back on here for a while if y'all if y'all like me being here playing music for you. So uh, thanks again. This is called Ain't No Color. No color. Ain't no color in this world, no 
color in the heart of a little boy or girl we all family following the dream the dream of our brother Martin Luther King I have seen hatred show through others eyes they can't hide that hatred no matter how they try, we can choose to deal with them, with love or hate. Follow love, follow love, don't retaliate. No color, ain't no color in this world. No color in the heart of a little color of our skin or the God we choose to praise color race religion mean nothing at the end of days as you stand there face to face and look into each other's eyes it's a golden rule that will speak to us from up on high no color Ain't no color in this world, no color in the heart of a little boy or girl. We all family, just following the dream, the dream of our brother. We all just gotta reach out to one another Gotta take good care of each other Sister and brother Open up our lives to love That's where it all starts Like those little children We gotta open up our hearts No color No color, everybody, ain't no color in this world, ain't no color in this world, no color, no color in the heart of a little boy and girl, in the heart of a little boy or girl, we all family, we all family, just follow us, follow the dream, who's the dream from, the dream. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Um, happy Springs just around the corner. Happy Inauguration Day. Y'all take care of each other, love each other, respect each other, and let, let's get back to the America we all know and love. And thank you all for, for listening to the music today. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And let's hope this whole COVID thing goes away sooner rather than later. Okay, this is Dave. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Love yourselves. Love each other. Love the earth. I I'm going to try to come back. Maybe I'll come back next week and play again live if you all want me to. Okay, DaveHawkins.com. Sign up for the e-news so you can find out as soon as the, uh, the new single releases from the new album that will hopefully be done by the end of February. Okay, this is Dave. You are you. We are all together in this together. We'll see you soon.
Peace out.